So what we're looking at here is the Asus ROG Rampage 6 Extreme. This is a new main board in development at the moment and it's about to launch anytime soon. This is just a quick early look under the bonnet. So what do we have inside? What's going on in here? Um, yeah, this is a Rampage 6 Extreme. This is based on X299. And here you can see this is uh, the new design of the ROG's armor. This one. And you can see this part, it looks like uh, it's metallic, but uh, when the system power on, there is some LED underneath. So the armor will become translucent. So if you ever seen it, some, there's a, some uh, photo on the internet, you'll see that the effect is really crazy. It's really beautiful. So this is some Blade Runner stuff here where you can press a button, the lights come on, it goes translucent. It goes yeah. from solid to see-through. Yeah, so it's okay. not just metal. It looks like metal, but actually this is... Uh, this part we use a very uh, special manufacturing process. We call it NCBM. It's a very special manu manufacturing process. So that's why it takes some time to deliver it to the market. And there's a there's a bunch of new technology on this board uh, from the back I.O. you can see and there are two uh, that Ethernet. is a big back I.O. <laughs> yeah the big back I.O. it's a standard size but there's a lot of uh, it's a lot of it's a lot going on yeah so this one is uh, it's 10G it's 10G Ethernet 10 gigabit Ethernet 10 gigabit built into Ethernet the board built in the board yeah we have uh, the X399 Zenis. Zenis also got one 10G, but it's with a dollar card. But with this board, it's uh, built in on the motherboard. Okay. Yeah. And there's uh, this this one is our pre-mounted I/O. Yeah. This should be our second generation pre-mounted I/O. So uh, it's even more polished than the previous generation. So it's very easy for the DIY builder. That's like a perfect finish. In, yeah, yeah. Slot in the chassis, then it's done. What yeah. else you got going on the back? What other ports we got on here? Yeah, we have uh, 3.1 uh, Gen 1, and we also have a 3.1 Gen 2. This is a Type C, and this is Type A. And there is some audio jack. There, these are the LED illuminated jacks. So it's color matched with uh, your, your connector. So okay. user will be very easy when. If it's if it's a chassis under under the desk, then it will LED will glow glow the light, so it will, it will be a very easily to find the audio jack you needed. Cool. Yeah. Normally you're around the back with your mobile phone with the torch on trying to find the socket. Yeah, you don't need that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, and there's a audio, uh, Wi-Fi part. There's a two Wi-Fi module here, and one is uh, uh, 11 AC, and this one is 11 AD. So okay. AD is also a next generation uh, Wi-Fi spec. Yeah, the speed is uh, really fast. It's like 4.6 gigabit per second. It's much faster than the current one, and cool. it's also ready for the future the wireless VR thing. Cool. Yeah. So uh, there's still some a uh, couple of features that I'd like to highlight. And this one is uh, the AD. This is the AD motherboard, but this one is we call the Dim.2. It's, it's called Dim.2. Dim.2. Dim yeah, you can say Dim.2. We use the DRAM slot, but actually it's used for the M.2 SSD. Yeah, there is a, a dollar card, and the dollar card we call it Dim.2 card, and it can fit for two M.2 SSD. And two of them you can build the CPU rate directed from the CPU. So the performance, the result is super fast. So does this have M.2 slots on the board? No, it's still M.2 <coughs> slot, but on this dollar card. There's a dollar card, there's a two side. Um, each side has a one M.2 interface, one M.2 uh, connector. Yeah. But it's direct directly from the CPU But side. the data transfer on that is fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's even faster than because previous uh, M.2, the, build, the, the rate is from PCH. So PCH, there's always a bottleneck when PCH uh, transfer data to CPU, then there is a bottleneck, it's DMI bottleneck. So right now, the, the Intel, they call it a VROC technology. 
So all the PCIe lens directly from CPU. So uh, Bypass that's why. the bottleneck much, much quicker. Yeah, much, much quicker. Yeah. And there's also one, two, and three. The third M.2 SSD is underneath here. Uh, if there's a screw, you can uh, remove it and uh, you can put the M.2 underneath. Okay. Yeah. And we still reserve U.2. And the U.2, there's, there's still some uh, server SSD, data center SSD that use the U.2 interface. So it's still ready for that. I think U.2, the benefit is uh, because it's away from the PC side. It's on the... Uh, so the thermal, the thermal will be better than the M.2 SSD. Gotcha. That's why we need, uh, uh, we, we, we do the DIM.2 SSD. Then on the DIM.2 SSD, you can even put an option fan on the DIM.2, DIM.2 card. So you can cool down the M.2 SSD. And uh, you know, the uh, M.2 SSD, when the thermal goes high, the speed will go down, right? So the, the thermal control will be a very critical for M.2. And there is still some interesting feature that's this one here. There's a, a water block sensor. There is a water block sensor. Okay. Yeah. For uh, for people who buy this high-end board, they probably they will go for the water cooling solution. They might... I would imagine. It does. Yeah. So uh, we have uh, the water blocks sensor, the definition. We have the each pin definition. We talk to uh, EK and Bits Power. So once uh, they build, they can also build in the sensor in their water block and connect to the sensor. Uh, they can detect the uh, flow rate, uh, temperature, and uh, water leak detection, and through this proprietary connector. And all these information will show on our DIP5 software. So user will be able to understand his system status if the leakage is happening, anything. Complete management. Yeah. And when will this product be in the shops in the UK? I believe you, it won't take too long, uh, but I cannot promise the date. It's probably in the September. Yeah, cool. September is coming. And do you have any idea at all on price? <laughs> <laughs> it won't be cheap. It won't be cheap. But it won't be cheap. But if you want innovation, then it's going to cost you a bit of money. Yeah, yeah. But I would say it's worth it. Really, really appreciate you showing us the board. You're welcome. Thanks.